Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, my name is Shruti from Pantech eLearning, Amirpet, Hyderabad. Uh, first of all, all of thank you all for being here on this wonderful session. I would like to special thanks to Rajiv Gandhi Government Polytechnic, Narvana Jin, Haryana so, College, uh, Chief Patton, Mr. Jeswan Jangra Principal, and coordinator Mr. Alka Kala Kalra and convener uh, Bijender Singh for associating with Pantech e-learning with platform and conducting such technical webinars uh, which will be utilized to all the students for technical knowledge. Uh, today I am going to explain about few basic concepts of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Yeah, machine learning, machine learning and artificial intelligence. So, machine learning and artificial intelligence means artificial in, uh, artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence to something which is made by humans means artificial. It is separated by artificial and intelligence. So, artil, artificial means uh, to something which is made by humans or uh, nat non natural things. And intelligence means the ability to understand or think. Uh, in machine learning means yeah, it is a subset of artificial intelligence. So which allows machine to automatically learn from past data without programming expectedly. So what is artificial intelligence? So what is artificial intelligence means in general term we are going to train machine with some intelligence data. Uh, some like example robotics yeah. so in this uh, some example like uh, robots so streaming machines towards understanding human intelligence so artificial uh, intelligence is a technology that enables a machine to simulate human behavior this is the definition so, uh, artificial intelligence is the ability of a computer program or machine uh, to think and learn. It is also a field of study which tries to com make computers smart. They work on their own without being encoded with commands. So, the history. <coughs> so, history. The history of artificial intelligence means uh, the artificial intelligence began years ago. There were stories, uh, myths and rumors or artificial beings graced with intelligence and uh, constituents uh, by master craftsmen. So in after that, the field of artificial intelligence research was found at a conference on the campus of uh, Dartmouth College in the summer of in 1956. After that, in 19... After that, in 1958, John uh, M.C. Carty and Marvin Miski started the uh, MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab with $50,000. So after that, the uh, artificial intelligence began with an uh, ancient wish to forgive the gods. So what is intelligent? What is machine learning means? Some like in general terms. We are going to train a machine with some past data. So, in general terms, humans learn from past years experience. In this, machines follow by the instructions, by humans instructions. So, uh, like in general terms means that we are going to train the machines with some past years of experience. So, in this here, human learn from past experience. Here, machines follow instructions given by humans. So this is the introduction. So introduction means uh, machine learning is a sub branch of uh, artificial intelligence and computer science which faces on focus on the use of data and algorithms to imitate the way that humans learn. So in machine learning, then this is the definition of uh, machine learning is an application of uh, artificial intelligence that provides systems the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience 
machine learning focuses on the development of computer programs that can access the data and use it learn from themselves so what is machine learning means uh, in programming a computer or perform a standards uh, by using past experience or machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence or calculations of algorithms computers models to develop behavior based on the uh, real data so this is the example highlights of the machine learning example like here <coughs> data x equal to 1 here data x equal to 2 this is the rule so this is the rule so uh, this data we are trained to this uh, this rule we are trained to machines so uh, in this machines uh, after that we are some uh, uh, x equal to 1 is the we are uh, giving the input date. so the machine understand uh, i think that y equal to x equal to this is the rule yeah this is the rule so machine understand oh, okay this is the rule so x equal to 1 means uh, this is the rule uh, 1 into 2 equal to output is 2 if x equal to 2 means y equal to 4 this is the rule output will be automatically printed in our uh, lab on our system so terminology uh, data set data set means a set of examples uh, that contain features importance to solve the problems means uh, data set and it uh, collection of uh, some numbers and values that related in particular uh, subject particular information this is the data set futures mean uh, it individually uh, independent variables that act like input uh, input your program or input your system so uh, in models means it represent a we are uh, models mean it represent a algorithm so in uh, this is a definition data set means a set of data examples that contain futures important to solve the problems so like exam uh, like some related data in futures means important pieces of data helps understand your problem uh, these are fed into a machine learning algorithm to help it them means futures means we are uh, some particular data uh, some uploading a model that model algorithm is uh, some set data next model models means the representation of phenomenon that a machine learning algorithm has learned so we are applying a some algorithms that uh, that is the model next real time examples real time examples uh, facebook finart netflix uh, uber amazon fifa these are the uh, real time examples in facebook means uh, if a member uh, frequently likes a friend post the news feed will be automatically start showing more of that friend's activity earlierly in the feed means if we are requesting a one uh, post in uh, facebook we are uh, requesting or we are uh, one like your like uh, your post that recommended system automatically one message will be came so this is the facebook uh, in this uh, machine learning we are uh, recommended for that like next fine art netflix netflix also uh, predicts the rating and individually will give you a movie so which they haven't even watched yet based on previous movie ratings made by them so in uh, next real lifetime application in real, uh, machine learning uber amazon and fifa gaming also so uber means uh so uber uber means we are suggesting uh, some location we are uh, suggest for drop or pick up locations automatically in nearby locations we are choosing the uh, uber uh, live location uber shares friends customers tra traveling in similar routes so in this allocates the booking based on time distance price and ratings based uh, this real lifetime uber will be applicable <coughs> next fifa game fifa game also we are using vr glasses provide a highly immersive gaming experience uh, next get sure a control gaming after that opponent gets stronger as you progress in the game 
so these are the real lifetime examples uh, next we are going to machine learning is the three types are there uh, supervised learning unsupervised learning and another one re reinforcement uh, algorithm algorithm also there so machine learning means in the supervised algorithm some applying past information registered to new data in unsupervised algorithm means draw a conclusions from a data set so supervised learning this is the definition supervised learning definition so it uses labeled input data and output data the goal here is to learn the mapping between the set of inputs and outputs so unsupervised learning unsupervised learning means here only input data is provided in the examples thereby no labeled example outputs to aim for it works on their own to discover the inherent structure of unlabeled data another one is uh, reinforcement so this is the means feedback based machine learning method that does not require labeled data so uh, in another example uh, supervised learning machine so supervised learning machine means uh, it, in this here supervised learning you can train the machine using data which is well labeled it means some data is already tagged with the correct answer it can be compared to learning which takes place in the presence of a supervisor or teacher means uh, so supervised learning means we know the input data and we know the output data so uh, like uh, in which machines are trained using well labeled data and the basis of the data predict the output so uh, the labeled data means some input data is already tagged with the correct output so the training data provided to machines works as the supervisor that teaches the machines to predict the output correctly uh, in supervised learning is a process of providing input data as well as corrected output data to the machine learning model so the main aim of supervised learning algorithm is to find a mapping function to map the uh, input variable with the output variable in real world supervised learning can be used for risk assessment uh, image classification fraud detection spam filtering uh, some examples so some example is uh, here we know the input data so know the data these are the apples so the response is these are the apples so the input data we know the input data we know the output data so these total data we are uh, upload to mod uh, the upload to model so in this model some either uh, response is new data so we are uh, giving the input data this is the uh, we are applying model so the output is new response is it is an apple this is the some example supervised learning so next unsupervised learning so uh, in the oh, sorry in the supervised learning two uh, two types are there regression and classification so classification means uh, uh, the output variable so two classes are there like uh, classification means s or no true or false uh, male and female like some classification a regression means predi uh, prediction continuous variable such as uh, uh, weather forecasting market trends like so two differences are there in this supervisor classification and regression is there next unsupervised learning so unsupervised learning means uh, unsupervised learning is a machine learning technique where you do not need to supervise the model instead you need to allow the model to work on its own to discover information it mainly deals with the unable data means supervised learning means end and sorry so we know the input data we don't know output data so unsupervised learning can't directly apply to the regression and classification models or classification problems we have input data but no corresponding output data some example like we have to take an unable input data 
we have to take an uh, unable input data which means it has not categorized and corresponding output also not given so here circle uh, triangle square these are the not correct uh, corrected output also so now this unable data now this unable input data we are uh, this data we are fed to the machine learning model this model we are applying <coughs> So in order to find the data it will interrupt the row and the firm, some hidden patterns also. So here the output will came some uh, similarity based the output will came. Here uh, raw data the we are applying model the output will circles, uh, squares and triangles. These are the some unsupervised learning algorithm. In unsupervised learning here also two types of there some clustering and associations. So some advantages unsupervised means uh, it is used for more complex problems uh, for task compared to supervised learning. Uh, in unsupervised learning uh, we don't have any uh, labeled data. We are uh, we don't have any labeled data. So unsupervised learning prefer as easily uh, to get unable data and comparisons of labeled data. Next to components of machine learning representation. So components is here three types of components are there. Uh, representation, evaluation, optimization. So here, uh, here representation. So machine learning representation means uh, it uh, like uh, data to provide the model with useful vantage uh, point into the data keys qualities. Uh, to create representation on the data to provide the models. So in machine learning model can't directly see here uh, since input examples. Instead we are using representation. Next evaluation. Evaluation means uh, it uh, models uh, accuracy. So evaluation means here uh, accuracy purpose, uh, precision purpose, recall purpose. Uh, and the prediction purpose we are using evaluation optimization means uh, here the process of where uh, we are training the model optimization means training model purpose we are uh, training model uh, training and testing to model uh, it uh, relatively that results in a maximum or minimum function uh, evaluation the optimization optimization Next to some statical method uh, to use it to recommend a movie means some example. So here the example like anybody ask any questions, anybody can answer. The better answers are voted up to and rise the top. So the Netflix here uh, one movie is there. So anybody can ask uh, it is positive response or negative response. Anybody can answer. So uh, if a movie is uh, positive, some members are positive. Some members are negative. So the best answers are high, uh, high rated means if uh, the best answers are uh, positive means the voted in Netflix the recommended system voting up high rated. Uh, if the negative means the low rated so uh, highest positive rating movie is recommended to high in the top of the recommended system. Next the components of artificial intelligence. So here the components. Philosophy, computer science, psychology, neuron science, biology, math, science, these are the some components of artificial intelligence. So here we are using main purpose machine learning, we are using finance, healthcare and some uh, stock markets uh, here we are using. So finance means an artificial intelligence advisor will soon replace human advisors as computerized system can uh, scan tens of thousands of enterprises to make a quick recommendations. Means if for example here stock market is there, stock market or uh, stock market or uh, stock market is there. The forecast uh, stock market to today and one week here is the rating uh, rating purpose. So tomorrow is a high range of stock uh, uh, some uh, other market. So tomorrow is low. So that uh, that is the we are predicting the output. So financial also healthcare also. So healthcare also we are using in uh, medical representation like uh, some medical care hospital uh, med, uh, medical health issues purpose we are using. So sequencing of individual genomes uh, and comparing them to largest database will allow 
doctors and uh, artificial intelligence wants to predict the probability of contracting a particular disease and remedy to treat it will appear so so healthcare also we are using machine learning so use case example in open assistance so use case example means it is a built with earth linux so here also we are using a uh, python also so in this so it acts as virtual assistant and does not require the internet to the functions also so in this open assistant means uh, it uh, open source like a artificial intelligence open source so the future artificial intelligence means what are the future artificial intelligence look like so driverless cars identifying tumors smart homes predicting the uh, stock markets these are the some future artificial intelligence here there are the three challenge three primary challenges of machine learning system design so here decomposition data and deployment decomposition means uh, behavior of uh, some uh, app and uh, how to work it uh, in data so decomposition about understanding the fundamental behavior of what an app or service does and how it does it so data means any kind of data so any information we are using in this data deployment means it refers to application of model for predicting using a new data so the data is organized and presented so model prediction purpose we are using some new data uh, we are using so in this new data we are applying some models algorithms also so next this is the complete uh, um, of some machine learning so in this machine learning some uh, uh, so machine learning with Py artificial intelligence machine learning with python so python we are using some uh, in machine learning so python program uh, included in machine learning so uh, python so python python means it is a programming language high level programming language means what is program what is program means uh, it a set of instructions that directs a computer's hardware to perform a task it is called program so what is the program means a set of instructions that directs a computer hardware to perform a task is called a program so in this programs two types are there uh, like uh, two types of programming languages high level lang uh, high level language and low level language in high level language uh, python c c++ perl java these are the high level programming language in low level programming language means machine language and assembly language so here uh, python these are the user defined languages so we are giving the input data so here low level language means machine languages machine languages like uh, uh, included a machine understand uh, computer understand purpose we are using machine languages so assembly languages assembly languages means we are some like ascii codes so if those are computer understanding purpose we are using uh, machine languages and assembly languages so two kinds of programming process interpreters and uh, compilers so interpreters and compilers first we are going to compilers so compilers means here we are using source code source code means uh, input data source code source code means here input data we are given the some programming language that programming language we are compiler after compilation that compi uh, compiler means it converts the binary codes so here we are uh, we are using uh, some input data that input data compiles to binary code means zeros and ones codes after that the objective codes objective code after we are executing after that output will came so this is the lengthy process of compilers so this is the some drawback is there so of uh, that purpose we are using python python means uh, we are using python inbuilt interpreters so python source code means here we are using input data the data we are interpreter here we are, we are using input uh, interpreter after the output will came so source code we are giving the input 
the inbuilt will be output will came so some uh, this is the some advantages next interaction of python so interaction of python means so see it is a high level programming language so fast to learn and fast to develop applications available for many platforms so implement complex logic with very few lines of code so history history means uh, here guido guido van rascom he is a guido was rascom he was working began in python in 1980 uh, after that he is implementation started as 1980 at national research institute for mathematics and computer science in netherland uh, after that he was first released in python in 1991 so why one should use python and what can i do in python means why one should do, use python means python is commonly used for developing website and software task automation data analysis and data visualization uh, and data visualization and since it's relatively easy to learn python has been adopted by many non programming such as accounts and Mm, scientists for a variety of every task like organizing finance that these are next we are going to uh, what can i do in python so what can i do means python can be used for like uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning data analytics data visualization programming applications uh, and web web development and game development and finance here in python we are used in this so why python so why python means why why python means uh, python language is one of the most accessible programming language available so because it has simplified syntax and not complicated which gives more emphasis on natural languages so due due to its easy of learning and use so in this why we are using some simple code we are using in python so python applications like console based applications audio and video based applications and cad applications enterprise applications so uh, in this here we are using some uh, data processing in python we are using data processing signal processing pi game maya game maya sorry maya python music software uh website development framework uh, so these are the some python uh, we are using python so data processing means the modular toolkit for data processing library developed in python is widely used for complex data processing algorithm complex data purpose we are using data processing data processing signal processing means we are using some neuroscience and data analysis purpose we are using signal processing so pi game means we are using some games games purpose we are using pi game in python so maya python we are using animation movie creation purpose we are using and maya python so music software also we are using python Uh, like audio players audio converters music notations musical analysis audio analysis playing and creating sound mp3 stuff and metadata editors these are the music software we are using python so website development framework also we are using python so here we are using django he django is a very powerful website development framework for rapid development written in python so we are using python in django also so the difference between python 2 versus python 3 first we are using python 3 versions so the difference is python 2 is legacy python 3 is present and future so python 3 was released in 2008 python 3 does not have any enough library so <coughs> present and still on python 2 is present and still on so in this we are using two ways to use interpreters so first one is uh, interactive mode and script mode so interactive mode means we are using chroma and prompt 
so here we are using from and from then uh, automatically print the output so script mode script mode means first we are save the file here file is using so one uh, here we are some data uh, some program here we are writing after file we are using then save after that the program will run so two modes is there uh, interactive mode and script mode another one jupyter mode also the, uh, is there so jupyter mode is in script by script uh, sorry line by line execution purpose we are using so next python identifiers so python identifiers first we are run the program some identifiers some uh, identifier we are using here a python identifier is a same name used to identify a variable function class module or any object an identifier start with a letter capital a um, capital a to small z or small a to small z or underscore followed by zero or some more letters underscore and digits also so python does not allow fun um, punctuation characters like uh, add date symbol and percentile within identifiers so e it is a case sensitive programming language so quotations in pythons so here uh, quotations in pythons means uh, python accept to single and double and triple quotations also so <coughs> some example i am using here we are going to jupiter Here we are using single quotations and double quotations. Sub so example. I am using first uh, single quotations. Hello. Print. So hello is we are using single quotations and double quotations also we are using the same a equal to print so we are here we are using single quotations and double quotation So comments, comments also used here, sign symbol, it is a hash symbol we are using. So single protection, a hash sign uh, that is not inside a string literals begins a comment. So all characters after the hash and up to the end of the physical line are part of the comment. So Python interrupter, uh, interrupter ignores them. So first comment, so uh, the output will directly came. So here, equal to, I am using here, so here, print 
AI and ML. So here the command to the interpreter Python he the hash symbol ignores. So next to <coughs> Python variables. So Python variables are four types. Uh, numbers, string, like, list, tuple, dictionary. So here uh, four types of data types is there. Uh, like numeric data type, sequence data, uh, numeric data type, sequence data type and set data types and mapping data types. Here in this uh, Python data types like immutable data types and uh, mutable data types. Here immutable, uh, sorry, immutable data types means if the value of the object can't be changed over time. Uh, some like a example a equal to 20 is there. So a equal to 20 is the value is stored in a variable. So it can't change value. So this is the immutable data types. Mutable data types means after creating a object. Uh, if the value is modified it is, if the value is <coughs> if the uh, value is modified so some example like arrays we, uh, we change the variables also so here name uh, here some example variable types here some example uh, like numbers string list to tuple and dictionaries so variables means uh, some different types of variables like uh, int, float, uh, python suppose uh, some different numerical data types like int, float, long, complex. These are the some uh, numerical data types. So string, string data types also there. Here are uh, some characters. Subsets of string can make, uh, can be take using the slice operators. Slice operator with index starting with 0 uh, in the beginning of the string. So they work their own from minus to the end. So the plus sign is concatenation operator. Astic is the repetition operator. So some examples here. So all examples a equal to some number integer type float type string So print print b so integer float and string. So here we are using concatenation operator like. equal to hello b equal to world print So hello world, this is a concatenation operator. Same like asterisk means three. So 
first one is concatenation operation next one is hello 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 three times we are using a asterisk three it means three times the output will came so this is the some examples next we are going to yeah python variables types in this list so list means uh, it is a sequence of most basic data structure in python so each element of sequence is assigned a number its position or index so the most common python sequences are list and tuples so several operations can be performed in a sequence, uh, sequence like indexing slicing adding and multiplying so some examples are uh, i am explaining some examples so list uh we are using square brackets in list uh like al artificial intelligence machine learning some deep learning so print list so this is the output so list means some open and square brackets we are using so in this list we are using uh, like list of zero so here uh, this is the uh, zero one two so here we are using uh, list of one so ml will came so uh, here in this list we are adding deleting and removing uh, also we are uh, use so next python tuples so tuples means Uh, it, this is the same another sequence data type that is uh, it is similar to list same as so tuple consists of number of values separated by comma so tuples are enclosed with parentheses so list are enclosed with open brackets but tuples are enclosed with parentheses so the elements and size can be changed but uh, tuples are enclosed with open um, parentheses it can um, cannot be updated so some examples here some examples tuple separated by comma some values also i am including mm -hmm. <coughs> so print so the output will come so here we are using in this uh, tuples we are using slicing operators also so print mm, like here 0 1 2 3 so i have 1 slice sorry 2 
here. Print. Tf. One slash two. So one, two, three. The value will came here. So here zero, one, two. So here in between one two, the one two three value is there. So the value is came. Next we are going to dictionaries. So dictionaries same like it say keys and values pair. So like uh, Python dictionaries work like associative arrays and consist of key value pairs. So a dictionary can be a of any type of but they are usually of the type of numbers or strings. So values can be any arbitrary Python object. So dictionaries are enclosed with curly braces. So the values can be assigned and uh, accessed using square braces. So here tuples we are using square brackets sorry list we are using square brackets tuples we are using open brackets but in this dictionaries we are using curly braces so same like example here we are using d dictionaries we are using so empty dictionaries i am creating so in this In this, I am using some values. Keys and values pair. Come on. So, same. So well, integer values. So print. So keys and values uh, values pair dictionaries. So this is the example. So Python basics is completed. So after that, uh, we are I am explaining some project uh, project like smart health prediction using machine learning. So the project main purpose means the health prediction, smart health predictions means uh, any sim uh, illness, any diseases are uh, there. So we are predicting the so. <coughs> Uh, means smart health means uh, the system allows user to share their symptoms and issues so it then process user symptoms to you uh, check for various illness or diseases that could be associated with it so the main uh, main purpose means the illness symptoms based the output will be predicted so two more uh, two symptoms are uh, two two or more symptoms is there the output will be uh, the sorry the this is will be predicted so in this project based on predictive modeling predicts the disease of patients or users on the basis of the symptoms so that the user provided symptoms as input to the system so here the uh, example
स्मार्ट हेल्थ प्रिडिक्शन here this is the program so here we are importing some libraries some toolkits sklearn matplot library finger numpy pandas os so numpy and pandas so numpy means here we are using numerical numerical representation purpose we are using numpy so pandas pandas means we are using the, some data set is there the data reading purpose we are using pandas so sklearn and matplot libraries these uh, libraries are we are using some graphical representation purpose we are using in this program here first we are using some data set is uh, we are collecting some data after that that collecting data we are going to so pre processing so pre -pro in this pre processing means we are the data some filter the filter the data so uh, uh, some any blank spaces or uh, any blank spaces uh, any some errors so we are using the uh, pre processing after that future extraction future extractions mean we are using some new data we are adding new data or removing some uh, old data purpose we are using future extraction after that we are applying some models so in this we are some uh, importing some libraries so this is the data so in this so this is the data here we are using some uh, list data we are so back pain uh, some mild fever yellow urine some these are the some data here so these are the symptoms so these are the symptoms based so this is the disease so fungal infection allergy so these are the diseases we are creating some list of data some symptoms based and disease based so after that here we are using some data in this data we are some uh, encoding the data like uh, here we are adding zeros like some data the length of uh, length l1 we are um, total converting zeros so here pd read csv means so in this data we are uh, import the csv file so training that csv file so here the data is reading so after that here we are using some uh, pre processing here the data set is collecting after that uh, pre processing means here we are replacing some uh, fungal infections like zero allergy like one uh, some here we are changing some name uh, numbers this is the output so fungal infection itching like one so we are converting zeros and ones here so in this we are using l1 list prognosis so in this we are using some back pain concern abnormal pain mild fever so total data we are converting some zeros in this in this pandas we are replacing the some values here same
so first here fungal infection fungal infection is there here zeros convert the zeros here 0 1 2 3 same like so here five rows and 133 columns is there so this is the y test so this is the text so here we are training and testing purpose so we are supposed to split the data here so training means uh, some uh, we are 80 percent data we are giving to training and testing purpose we are giving to 20 percent data we are not giving testing So here the list, here we are using some disease based So symptoms 1, symptoms 2, symptoms 3 like So selecting purpose we are using some here data We are selecting. After that, we are applying some uh, algorithms. Decision tree algorithm, random forest algorithm. So two algorithms we are applying in this uh, project. So decision tree algorithms means like some uh, trees. Decision tree and uh, some uh, decision tree here. So the output like yes or no type here the output will came it is a classification algorithm so a classification algorithm means it yes or no type we, we, here the output will came so in this uh, we are using some else if and else conditions so here importing some SQL and uh, here importing decision tree classifier uh, so matrix uh, so graph representation also here we are applying yeah. here so here symptoms one symptoms two symptom three so get so we are giving the some uh, select here we are giving the some uh, symptoms the output will came so here this is the program so decision tree classifier mean, uh, means it is a um, supervised machine learning algorithm which means uh, supervised machine learning means uh, it's the no labeled data we are uh, taking so it can be used for both classification and regression decision tree is used for both classification and uh, regression but mostly we are using decision tree classifier classification purpose we are using decision tree algorithm so decision tree law in this we are using some algorithms decision node and leaf node so decision node and leaf node means so here uh, uh, example like the input like yes or no true or false the output will came in decision trees so in this decision tree i am applying i am run the program so the output will i am running the program Here applying some uh, 
Decision tree classifier algorithm. Here random forest algorithm. So random forest algorithm also same like decision tree. But here we are uh, using some uh, algorithm like uh, same like decision tree. But here we are using some more trees. Here. So here we are using some uh, symptoms based here also. Some program we are right. So execution purpose here. Random forest name classifier. So here we are using some import data. Database DB. So here we are using building graphical user interfaces. So graphical representation here. Here <coughs> symptoms based on here. Select to here means. So here message box purpose we are using um, to printer. So here we are using some labels uh, hidden GUI written in top of the GUI. So the output will Here, this is the output. So, name of the patient. Here, the name of the patient, some any name. So, here, select here. Some symptoms like back pain, some random. I am choosing random. So, I am applying some predict one. So drug reaction. So decision tree output. Where it just wins. This is the random forest output. So this is the output prediction. This is In real time also we are using in health medical hospitals. So the, uh, the project is uh, smart health predictions. Uh, again I am explaining some samples. So means uh, symptoms based output will be came. So the main purpose means uh, symptoms based output. Uh, so the system provides the symptoms as the input the system will out. Uh, the machine learning will predict the output automatically. So here we are using some. So here we are from uh, upload import libraries. These are the libraries: SQLN, Matplot libraries, NumPy, Pandas. These are the libraries. Matplot libraries means graphical representation purpose. We are using. Here we are creating some list data. So next uh, here we are uh, creating decision. Sorry, disease. So first we are data set we are creating. Data collection is there. After that we are pre-processing. After that we are future extraction. After future extraction, we are applying some data visualization process. Data visualization process means uh, we are analyzing the data. So we are uh, data some model supported uh, data. The data we are analyzing the data. After that, we are applying some model. Uh, that model we are training and testing purpose using. Training means we are applying some data. Uh, 
एटी परसेंट डेटा वी आर गिविंग टू ट्रेनिंग डेटा एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट डेटा वी आर गिविंग टू टेस्टिंग डेटा इन दिस डेटा सो बोथ आर अप्लाइंग सो वी आर सम लाइक एग्जाम्पल एक्स टेस्ट वाई टेस्ट एक्स ट्रेन ट्रेनिंग पर्पज टू एक्स ट्रेन एंड वाई ट्रेन टेस्टिंग पर्पज टू एक्स टेस्ट एंड वाई टेस्ट so we are uh, importing uh, so we are applying the data some uh, so we are testing the data like 80 percent data so that 80 percent data and we are uh, analyzing the data for 20 percent data both are analyzing and compared to the output will be predicted so here we are using two algorithms are uh, there decision tree algorithm and random forest tree algorithm so decision tree algorithm decision tree algorithm means it is a supervised machine learning algorithm and it can be used for both classification and regression but uh, uh, this uh, like example like yes or no true or false output will be came in decision tree class classification so in this uh, we are using some decision node leaf node are using some examples like uh, it uh, decision tree uh, advantages means easy to understand so here uh, root node and leaf node we are using so root node means total data set representation purpose we are using root node and leaf node means we are using final output purpose we are using the leaf node so decision trees usually uh, mimic human thinking ability while making a decision so it is easy, easy to understand like yes or no true or false like so random forest algorithm uh, same classification and regression concept but mostly classification purpose we are using and here we are using n symbol classification in random forest algorithm so random forest algorithm is based on concept of n symbol learning so which is a process of combining multiple classification so to solve a complex problem purpose we are using random forest algorithm so in this random forest algorithm we improve the performance of the models and random forest algorithm is uh, contains a number of decision trees like so various subset that given data set and it takes a average to the improve and predictive accuracy of the data set so here we are both using both data decision tree and random forest algorithm but here the accuracy is both are same but in another algorithm we are applying that accuracy is less so like uh, some algorithms like knn algorithm navi bayes algorithm so here we are applying some uh, in this project we are applying some uh, another uh, algorithms the output will accuracy is less so here the random foresting and uh, decision tree is the uh, highest accuracy so i will check last output one second i will check output
so here the here the output will come this is this is prediction so any name we are given symptoms based so prediction 1 and prediction 2 prediction 1 means decision tree prediction 2 is random forest algorithm so both are same output will keep so this is the output So the session is completed. So at last I would like to thank you all the participants who made the session uh, as a wonderful session. So we have already provided the feedback form and attendance. So in the live chat please fill that today and tomorrow we will provide we will provide and forward to the soft copy of the certificates. Thank you to everyone. So thank you once again Rajiv Gandhi Government Polytechnic, uh, your partner Jeswant Jangra, principal sir and coordinator Mr. Alka Kalra and convener Bijender Singh. Thank you once again. Thank you to all.